Hello Aquarians and Cross Watchers, welcome to your video. Um, I have not channeled a song, pretty much I channeled a week's worth of songs and today I had pretty much a block. Um, maybe I, I didn't get enough sleep, I didn't have, um, I woke up, I had to do things pretty early in the day and you guys already know who watch me regularly, I go to bed late. Um, but the only message that came to me, I prayed on it, and only thing I could hear for a message was, Blessed be. Blessed be. And I'm going to leave that to your discernment. Anyway, guys, before I get into the video, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. I want to thank you for being here and I want to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for your comments, your subscribes, your likes, your shares. Thank you for being in the chat if you're able to. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know everyone's not able to. It's a good way to chat with me if you if you want to. A lot of times I try to get in there. Sometimes it's hard. Um, I have a little project going on where I'm helping the homeless and plus doing my other stuff. And so my time is limited. Anyways, I'm going to say a quick prayer and we'll get right into your reading. Our Father in Heaven, I want to thank you for the many blessings that you've given to myself and everyone who's here. I want to ask for protection for all of us and for our loved ones, protection from harm, illness, evil eye, whatever we need protection from. And I want to um, pray for the suffering and ask that those who are suffering be given some sort of ease or peace, some sort of help through their suffering. I also want to ask for permission to be able to see what I'm allowed to see in this reading so that I can give the most highest divine messages. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I was guided to use some different cards. Uh, hopefully nothing falls on my head today. Everything seems okay so far. I've had no weird incidences today. Um, so we'll just see what wants to come out here. I'm using the... Cosmic Dancer. So we're going to see what wants to come out. I'm going to close out with the Crystal and Chakra cards. And I'm going to use the Angel Tarot and the Light Seers for clarification. Show me what I need to see for this reading. If you're a cross-watcher watching for an Aquarian, keep in mind the rules can be reversed. Okay? Or if there's multiple people here, it's uh, you can put yourself where you need to be. But I'm reading the energy around Aquarius. And we have be authentic. That's important. We have be authentic. We have number 25, and it's a card of, um, it's uh, number 7. It's the chariot. Okay. Give me one second here, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I was just informed, um, given some bad news here. Maybe that's why I haven't been able to really tap in today. And it literally says tap into primal power. Um, I don't know if you guys watch the news, but I was just given some bad news about, um, literally about further war starting, about missiles being launched. So, I don't know what this leads for us. Maybe this is why I haven't been able to uh, channel much for today. Like I said, I heard blessed be, but I'm going to stay into what wants to come out here in the reading and then I will go and watch uh, the news when I'm done here. I will get more details for myself. But it says be authentic and it says tap into primal power. It's 31 which turns to 4. Let's get into the tarot. 4 talks about stability, it talks about union, it talks about a home, it talks about um, happiness and celebration. But tapping into your primal power, okay, that is where your true home is. You are the tower of the divine, okay? You are the temple. I shouldn't say tower, I'm thinking tower. You are the temple of the divine. That's all red, makes me think of tower. 
a lot of you guys are already authentic, but I understand sometimes I've been in this situation where you want to try to fit in, you know, um, at my older age, I don't really try to fit in as much. But I remember when I was younger, I, I knew that I was different, you know, I knew I was awkward and I was weird. And I knew that my thoughts were way out there compared to some people um, and my some of the people being around me, you know, not being Aquarian. And um, I had to learn to be authentic. I had to learn to speak up. I had to learn to share um, my truest self. So if anybody just doesn't feel sometimes like they'll be accepted or feels like they have to, you know, be another way to fit in, just be your most authentic self. Um, most of you who are older already are this would probably sit for someone who uh is just trying to fit in so anyone who needs to hear that just continue to be your authentic self and don't worry about it okay we have two of water we have something very special coming in all right we have a very close connection whether it's a best friend it's a new lover it's somebody you're already with. It's a very beautiful connection. And we have four of air. It's a healing card. But there's one person that's here. And then we have a page of air. Reverse. Somebody is trying to gain some sort of clarity. Maybe on a connection with you. Now what you or maybe you on a connection with somebody else. Like I said. Alright, now what you don't see, five of fire in the reverse now literally this is stress and chaos and it's not an easy situation um, but it's reverse so I feel so far I'm going to clarify but I feel if anybody is having some sort of um, problem trying to figure out or gain clarity on something or someone I feel that that's about ready to happen now keep in mind this can be external to you this can be a person external to you, okay? <laughs> uh, so let's just keep that in mind. This might not be your thinking. This could be someone else thinking about you. So let's clarify here. Let's clarify. Yes, Five of Cups reverse. Um, somebody might be literally sad and depressed here over missing another person. And, you know, when I see the Five of Cups reverse, they could be more depressed or they could be trying to come out of it. But with this Four of Air, I feel like somebody's coming more out of it, getting into an energy of, uh, you know, I, I we can heal this, right? Because thoughts are powerful, Thoughts are powerful, and, you know, it's interesting, um, you know, my youngest daughter came up to me yesterday, and she's like, you know, Mom, I realized that all I have to do, and I've told her this, but, you know, kids don't listen to their parents always, um, she's like, I realized I was just thinking the wrong way, all I had to do was change my way of thinking, and I could, I realized I could have what I want, I'm like, I've been telling you that for a long time. Um, because this was the kid, you know, that would manifest everything. She would imagine herself having fun with it, and then bam, she would have whatever it was she was wanting, right? But for somewhere along the line, she lost that um, in the last couple of years, and there's a lot that's happened. So, you know, it's about your thoughts or their thoughts. All it takes is a change of thought, and I feel like somebody really is doing that, Um Somebody is really realizing, I can, I can change this, or seeing something here, I can change this. Now, this came out sideways, it's Sagittarius, it's Knight of Wands, and we have the Five of Fire. So this could be a person who had a mindset of wanting to date multiple people, or wanting to deal with other people, or... You know, something like that, because this can be, though, this, you know, it's fiery, okay? It could be somebody who wants, you know, doesn't want to settle down, right? Maybe settling down is boring, or someone who is younger, that's a knight. It's not a king or a queen or an emperor or an empress. It's a knight. So 
we have too. There might be someone literally thinking about just being with that one special person and forsaking all others. You know, forsaking all others. And because the other person is so special, the other person is a wish fulfillment. Could be somebody you've worked with, three of earth. Let's get into the root. Let's put this over here. Let's get into the root. So we have a ham fest uh, where I live. I'm a ham ready operator and I went to a ham fest earlier today and um, it was interesting but we got into a very uh, interesting conversation about uh, World War III and then I get interrupted about something that could have just set that off so I really hope that's not the case. I've been praying every day for no war. We have enough loss, don't we, guys? The same guy is the one that contacted me, old ham ready operator, because we were just talking about that, and he's like, you were just talking about this. We have the magician. We have Virgo, Gemini energy, okay? It's also Mercury going direct, if you want to look at it like that. We have king of air, which is obviously Aquarius. Now it's in the reverse. I'm going to clarify this. But this might have been somebody who didn't pick you or want to be with you or around you. Now, it doesn't mean it's love. It could be a friend. You know, I got to mention it could be anybody. I can't. I'm just doing what comes out. I'm not specifically doing love, though a lot of people watch for love, right? We all want somebody special in our life, you know. But this is the magician. That is Virgo, Gemini energy and Aquarius energy. What you don't see, and it landed here on this Five of Cups, a return five of earth an improvement a return of a person maybe a strong earth sign um taurus virgo capricorn but it is king of earth and five of earth reverse this is a person who is i feel trying to make a decision if they want to be in a long-term relationship or single i really feel that strongly but whoever this is, they're giving it a lot of thought because it really does mean forsaking all others to them. They're not the kind of person who's just going to get into a relationship and still have others on the side. So that's good news, right? But this does look like a person that you know because it's, it's a return. They're thinking about you, it looks like. Now, if it's not a return, it's an improvement because a five of earth reverse can be an improvement as well. It can be an improvement. But this is with this king of earth reverse and this knight of wands sideways and this four of air and this one person right here. Really, somebody's really trying to uh, think about a few things. Number one, do they have what it takes? Okay. Do they have everything, whatever it is they want? If it's about the job, the money, the stability, um, you know, place to live like this is a person who's thinking about everything. They're not leaving any, any box unmarked. So this is a person who is highly thinking about, look, um, what would our life be like? What, what would we do? income uh do we have money for this or this uh, or if there's going to be any additions to the family or if their family is coming ready made you know, with kids already this is a person really thinking and it, it doesn't even have to involve kids not everybody is, uh, has kids but some people do i have both i have a large a large group of you but this is a person who's really thinking about hey do i have what it takes to go the long haul do i have what it takes to commit do i want to commit do i want to stay single if we are together what would it you know be like and somebody's putting all this you don't see this when a card comes face down for me you don't see this okay you don't you're not aware of this and i really think that's why you're reverse here as the king of air you know somebody doesn't know if they want to share a home with somebody here um, possibly possibly you know people do get set in their ways you know somebody could be single and like enjoy their single life or enjoy living alone and it's like i don't i don't know if i want to live with somebody i'm kind of 
set in my ways, you know. I like to walk around naked and I don't want to be around kids or I don't want to offend anyone or, you know, something like that. It doesn't have to be the walk around naked part. I just say that because, you know, sometimes people, I, I hear people say that a lot. I've heard it more than once in my life where if I didn't have kids around, I'd just walk around naked. I don't know. But we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And... <laughs> This is someone who might literally be thinking about a strong earth, you know. We have the King of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Somebody who is not sure if they want to be single or want to be like Mama and Papa. Okay. But, you know, there's something special about you. Or whoever's resonating with this, okay. Like I said, you could be dealing with an Aquarian. An Aquarian's thinking like this about you. And just can't get, you know, sort of can't get a person out of their mind here. Let's go to the past or the recent past. Oh boy, something hit the floor and this one wanted to come face down. Give me one second, guys. A lot in the past, my gosh. All right, so this is a person who you were probably very honest in the past, okay, about what you wanted. We have air energy, literal Libra, but this is precise clarity here. Remember, we have the Ace of Swords reverse here, so this is someone who's not clear because it's like for this person, it's like if I come back, I need to come back ready for this. To be part of the family. To be the family person. This is, this is, I know this is what Aquarius wants for me. Okay. Or Crosswatcher if you're dealing with the Aquarius. This is, I know this is what Aquarius wants with me. And I need to come back prepared to do this. But this is them really thinking. Can I do this? Can I do this? Because I'm really used to being alone. Or I'm really used to having a variety. Or not settling down. You know. It's like, um. And I know a lot of you can relate to this. You know, I had a boyfriend many, many, many years ago. Long, long, long time ago before I ever got married, okay? And he was my boyfriend for like seven years. And I was like, you know what? He's never going to get married. And he was he was literally a Sagittarius. He was not the marrying type. Never, ever did he marry. So I'm kind of glad I moved on from that. Um, never married, never had kids. It, you know, wasn't his thing. Uh, so there's something about that. You know, there is a person who's really putting some thought into this if they want to get married. Were their kids or not kids involved? If somebody knows to come in towards you, they got to come in correct, and they got to come in as a family, being a family, ready to be a family. So this is the past energy. You might have said that you want this, and this person just stopped focusing on you. It's like, hmm. Deuces. No, I don't want this. I, I, I don't want this. I don't want to settle down. I don't want to be stuck in one, you know, one situation. And that's okay. That's okay. That's their choice. And it's your choice to move on, right? <laughs> it's everybody's got a choice here. But yeah, we got the Empress and it's in reverse. So this is a person who's coming back around that you know, maybe there was some sort of talks in the past about, uh, and this could be a man or a woman, okay, yin and yang, it doesn't, it's just an energy, okay, it has nothing to do with uh, sexual orientation. This is a person that I can tell you is like, didn't want to go all the way at that time. This is what they're thinking about now, so I don't know where you're at. I don't know where you're at. Now, I just got another download from Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Um, that this could also be a person who was in a family and couldn't give focus on anything else because maybe they, there were kids involved or there was too much involved or too many owned too many things together and twined. But that seems like it would have been a person who was might not have been faithful in their situation either. Okay, They just stayed because of other reasons, not because of love. That's not for everybody. The majority of this is going to, they didn't want to settle down because they appear like they were single. But if they weren't single, they definitely weren't faithful to whoever they were, if that's easier to understand. 
they didn't want to uh there's something about this in the past when it comes to settling down and you tell me about the past or it's about you and settling down with them so the bottom line is this this is the chariot reverse that's a stop that's a pause that's breaks this is yang and yin together becoming one powerful force it's cancer energy but it's in the reverse and this empress um i didn't say uh, empress is libra um taurus it's venus energy don't have to be those signs because everybody who has a child is an empress okay so i had a child i'm not taurus i'm a taurus moon but i'm not libra or anything like that so look at the energy first but it landed here on this knight of wands for the past this person literally didn't want to stop being single it looks like or stop playing around they enjoyed doing what they were doing maybe they were also more mature okay because now it's a king and a queen of pentacles reverse someone's thinking about this with you so maybe it's also someone who's grown okay grown since you've seen them at least i can say if you get with this person if they come around it doesn't look like you had a relationship because they knew you wanted a relationship all right they knew you wanted a relationship now i have another another message that just came in if you guys were together and had children if you guys were together and had children um they may want to come in now if they weren't there for you for your children or for your pregnancy or anything like that they may want to now come in and be a part of that child's life and be consistent uh, be responsible i should say thank you spirit okay what crowns this didn't really want to show me but it's going to get exposed anyway we have a there's a brand new beginning here and literally, if you could have a brand new beginning with a child, a brand new beginning with a person from the past that wasn't wanting to settle down, but they want to settle down, you could have a brand new beginning in the life of co-parenting or getting back with a child's parent. But this can also be a new beginning in co-parenting. But it can be a new beginning when it comes to a, a divine feminine and a divine masculine, a yin and a yang, where things didn't take off because... Of other reasons whether someone had a family or someone wanted to be single but it looks like if someone had a family there could have been an affair this person maybe had an affair or maybe flirted with you or something like that okay the bottom of the deck there is a new beginning and we do have divine masculine we have the emperor we have the parent we have the boss but this is more most likely um a parent a, um it could be a boss if it's a boss it's there was like some romantic potential there or was romance maybe something went on it's going to get exposed or if there was some sort of uh, you know i hate to be the one to say stuff like this but spirit is saying it if somebody had an affair at work it's going to get exposed nine of fire yeah it's in the reverse so and it, and, it, and it doesn't mean that it will get it you you know whoever did it could be the one to say hey i did it i had an affair and i'm sorry and it could even come out like that so what crowns this is in the future what someone may or may not see coming is a nine of fire somebody is surrendering here everything gets exposed doesn't matter their love for you gets exposed your feelings for them gets exposed anything that happened in between that involved other people gets exposed it all comes out tell me about the nine of fire reverse the reason why they couldn't will get exposed yeah 
Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Fool is reverse. It just really comes down to somebody. Somebody didn't know if they wanted to commit with you. It seems like whether they were with another commitment and playing the field or they just were single and liked having a variety, but somebody didn't know what they wanted. And I'm just going to keep moving on because I've said that already. And it's like that. This is it. it, it you know, this is what someone is basically in the process of. I don't feel like it's you, Aquarius, in the process of wondering if you want to settle down or not. One thing I can say about us Aquarians, being an Aquarian, uh, Aquarius and Venus and Aquarius sun sign, and at my age, yes, I am operating out of my sun sign, not my moon sign. I can say usually Aquarians, we're very analytical, but we're, we're like computers. We're analytical in a fast way. We size it up. We package it up. We categorize it. We're quick. We're a lot like Virgo in the fact, except Virgo takes more time. In my opinion. Okay, this is only my opinion. I am not, ask Jeebs or, you know, I'm not, I'm an oracle lady, but I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not like that. This is... This is like that where I feel that you guys, this is not your energy because I just feel like you would, you, your energy is sharp, quick, fast. You put it together. You're like high speed internet Aquarians are generally like high speed internet. We, we, we size it up. We fill it out. We, like I said, we're quick. This is someone else. More earth energy and it's slower or or fire. Fire is not necessarily slow energy, but the, this earth energy is more slower to discern it because they really um, want to get in touch and grounded with it and feel it. We're already up in the clouds as Aquarians. We're already up there, so we're like, we're fast. We're fast like the air, like the clouds, but the ground don't move. The rocks don't move. The trees don't move. So earth signs... They don't move that quick either. They really, really need to know. Now, that doesn't mean they don't make mistakes, but they need to know. That's a lot. Jeez. This is supposed to be for the near future, Ten of Earth, Page of Fire. This person may want to come back and be a family with you. Or they may come back and say, I had a family and I, that's why I didn't do it. Okay, but I can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> and I'm not happy with my life the way it is. I would like another chance. Maybe they dream about you because this is like the end card here. But these, these came down, but it's the future. The future is, it looks like they tell you that they want to um, invest, okay? Invest with their life with you and be a family, have a legacy. Or they're literally going to say, I couldn't because I had a family. But I don't feel, because it's not bad news, it's good news. Page of Fire is upright. This is good news. I feel if they were telling you the reason why, you know, it might be sort of reversed, but it's not. But anyways, this is wanting a second chance. So this is not them saying, I had a family and just, can you forgive me? This is like, I want another chance to get it right. This is the reason I couldn't do it before, but I'm not happy. I chose this, but I'm not really happy with that choice because, you know, I got what I asked for. My cups were full. I got everything I asked for, but I'm not happy. I'm bored, <laughs> discontent, I think about you, I think this person daydreams about you, honestly, I think they daydream, we're going to clarify it, this landed on the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Empress reverse, it landed smack dab in the middle, oh yeah, so that's what it is, they daydream, they daydream about you, they think about you, Nine of Air, the Wheel of Fortune, we have Sagittarius energy there. We have Scorpio, Cancer Pisces energy here. 
this is this is someone who's really over emotional with a lot of anxiety because I feel like they let something good go for something that wasn't good and that is a major realization and it hurts it hurts when it's like giving something away you love but you didn't know you loved it when you gave it away you know it's almost like when you give up a, a, a I don't want to say what I was going to say because there might be people out here who did that and it's it's going to hurt I'm not trying to hurt nobody but this is that energy they gave up something they love and they want another opportunity to get it right there's a lot of there's a lot of depression around it there's a lot of sadness there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of unrest and a lot of thinking about that time when there's going to be a connection or if there will be because I imagine there's fears that come into that too and some of it can involve kids but we do have the Hierophant here we have the Hierophant we have the Six of Cups we have a close connection whether it's a kid it's also daydreaming and nostalgia it's a higher commitment either way whoever's coming in that wants another chance it's gonna it's gonna be a better commitment for the rest of your lives okay whoever's coming in if you want it of course if you want it somebody's having a major tower moment here major this is and this is all major arcana except for the eight of wands everything is reverse somebody knows they need to reach out and talk all right um this magician in this tower, Pisces, Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio, and Aries. But this is good. They may somebody may come out and just say, "Look, I can't do this without you. I don't want to do life without you. I don't, you know, I can't believe whatever I did. I, you know, I wasn't in my higher self because the magician reverse is somebody in their free will." They could also come back during Mercury retrograde, but like they'd have to do it within the next couple weeks. It's it's like the the twenty something, twenty third, twenty fifth, something like that. Um, they realize they want to talk, but there's something here about Mercury, and there's something here about uh, Mars and Pluto, or the Tower. Anyway, Tower is Mars. It's it, I want another because this is the thing they've been thinking about you since I think you guys stopped doing something together working together or hanging out or collaborating or whatever and man you don't know the stuff they've gone through you don't know what they've gone through they've gone through something substantial I believe you were sheltered from whatever they went through okay because I feel that they really had to experience it without you because whatever they've gone through, you could have already been through something like that in life or it just wasn't meant for you, whether you went through it or not. And we have eight of water and it's in reverse, guys. Somebody's coming back. And, it, you know, this might be very similar to yesterday's reading where somebody was trying to come back healed. This person is trying, this person wants to heal things with you specifically. This person is very sad, very depressed. They're still in confusion because they have not made up their mind. This person is like, can't get beyond these thoughts. They really screwed up and they really want to return. They literally threw away love and they didn't know that it was love. And they, it's, it's like I say, imagine you threw away something that you love so much that you would die for. You love it so much and you just give it away. Because at that moment, you really don't think you want that. And then a year or two or three or four years go down the line, even maybe more years. And then, and then a person realizes, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe that I gave up that and I love that so much I have so much attachment to that I can't believe I didn't see it it's, it's almost like that kind of awakening four cups has come out twice <laughs> I 
All they can do is think about it. All they can do is think about you. All they can do is think about you. What's in the environment? Something up, something down. There's so much you guys don't even know. And judgment, as I talk about judgment. This person is going through a renewal. This person is definitely going through a renewal. An awakening. And then that's when they're coming in. Right now, they're going through an awakening, a realization. They're about ready to make a move toward you. You guys could be divine counterparts. You guys could be, you know, I don't like to say the, the, the name. You guys could be twin flames. You guys could see 11-11 a lot. Or this could just be how you guys are together. Like kids, cutting up, close connection. The ultimate soulmate or literal kid because we do have the Six of Cups. Could be literal family. Give me a card for the hope and the fears. King of Fire and the World Reverse. They're coming forward. They're still thinking, but they're coming forward here at some point. The thing is, I always say the heart and mind must align. This person's mind is always thinking about you or vice versa. But like I said, I, your reverse over here, their reverse, like you guys are not in connection, but it looks like somebody um, went away from you. Eight of fire reverse, hopes and the fears. This person is afraid of you never talking to them and, and them never talking to you again. We got wise counselor, and this is the hierophant, and it came out. It came out in the um, the pre shuffle, and we have the hermit, which is Virgo. So we have Virgo, we have Taurus, we have Sagittarius. Um, somebody's under a lot of stress here because you're not in their life, and somebody, you and somebody, are not talking. And since you guys have not been talking, this person is really having. Issues now, maybe you were a wise counselor to this person, maybe you gave this person great advice, maybe you just consoled this person. But this person, it just seemed like you wanted a relationship, they didn't, or vice versa, and now it's different, it's changing. It's, um, you know, you wanted something consistent with them, okay, not in and out, and now that seems like it's going to change. Yeah, somebody's really thinking about this here. See, they can't get you off their mind. Give me a card for the Eight of Fire. Six of Pentacles reverse. The Devil reverse. The Seven of Wands reverse. They're releasing something that's not good in their life. Something that's toxic. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a person. Could be a karmic. It could be a lifestyle. Like, you know, playing around. <laughs> Playing around too much, okay, with other people. What's the outcome look like? What's the outcome look like? Six of water. Somebody might be looking at your photos. This is a card of nostalgia. It's a card of that close connection. It's the same. It's the six of cups. What's been wanting to come out. This is the card where I feel like they're they're thinking and daydreaming, but there's a lot about kids and children so it could have it could involve kids family children because this is the seven of air and the six of water somebody is looking at the fact of this seven of air and the six of water and you know the seven of air can be sometimes a card of self-sabotage somebody could have sabotaged this connection and realize you know Realize that. Realize I sabotaged this. I sabotaged it. You know, there were kids involved or there could have been kids involved or I didn't want kids, but I want kids now or I didn't want to be a parent, but I want to be a parent now. Tell me about the seven of air, please. Because I'm seeing too many kids. <laughs> Tell me about the seven of air, please. Now, if you don't deal with kids and you're older, you know, you deal with pets and believe it or not, um, you know, my aunt and uncle, they had these poodles and they were like their kids and they, they, 
they've had a very specific diet of boiled chicken and boiled rice and those pets were their kids they slept in bed with them and everything and they babied them and thank god you know they were they lived till till death do them part but there are people who the kids the kids are the pets and when there's a divorce they miss the pets and somebody has to somebody has to take care of the pets and um but for a lot of you this is a person who is looking at how they sabotage something in a family family setting or something to have a family with you or something because of family but there, there's strong family here there's strong kids here there's strong sabotage here Hermit, Virgo, it's in the reverse, and Knight of Cups, it's in the reverse. So this might be a person who comes out and says something about that. Um, they may want a union with you, but they also might want to come out and just say that they enjoyed the life they were having. They didn't want to settle down. They didn't want to be consistent. Um, they didn't they just wanted to sort of have that life where they can just go out and do what they wanted to do and be free all right but there's something changing if i go further down there's something changing and it has a lot to do with the lovers reverse and we have death and rebirth someone is changing for the better here and they might be cutting something out of their life that's not good for them and that's clarifying the seven of air. So someone's really looking at the fact they played themselves. They chose, they chose another route in life. Or at least when it came to you. Tell me about the six of water. They're wishing for Aquarius. Now here we go. They're wishing for Aquarius. But this might be someone you also wished for. You might, you might have both wished for each other at one point. But now it seems like they're wishing for you. You might have wished for them. But you see how you're both looking different ways. Because you would have had to have moved on from this person. Yeah, because this person didn't want to share a space with you, didn't want union with you, didn't want to be with you. They wanted to be with others. That was what that was saying. But now there's something that's changed. Now they want to come back. Now you're all they can think about. They want a second chance. And I know I've been channeling it. So it might be have to do with this person who's healing. But they definitely want to heal things with you. They realize they sabotage the whole connection with you. That's what they realize. They sabotage the whole connection. And they're bored. They're bored with what they have. Um, very depressed. Can't get you out of their mind. They're very depressed and cannot get you out of their mind. I don't know how this is going to end, guys, but at some point, I imagine the heart and mind must align. So let's see what, what uh, chakras and crystals can help out. You're going to have, that might be part of that hard decision that you're going to have to make. That, that reading I did a couple of nights ago about a hard decision. We have citrine quartz. Let me find the meaning and I'll be right back. All right, guys, citrine quartz. And it says... It's yellow, it's a uh, positive, it's the solar plexus chakra, which is a divine masculine uh, energy. And it says the attitude of this quartz and most yellow stones is that of the half full glass as it adds optimism to our view of life. In daily life, things happen that test our stability. Citrine quartz encourages us to find the good in events, reminding us that nothing happens randomly. Everything is meant to teach us something. Therefore, in life's events, there's always a lesson to learn to improve ourselves. So I really feel that that's this person, whoever this is, someone is learning or has learned a lesson when it comes to you. Um, because apparently they can't get you off their mind and apparently they sabotage this, okay? Because this had the potential to be so much more than it is. They sabotaged it and they're going to come back wanting a second chance to get it right with you or get it right with a child or vice versa. But it's, it's, it's like that guys. Anyway, thank you for showing up in the chat and thank you for showing up for the video. I love all of you guys. Um, and peace be with you guys. Namaste, my friends.